It's legit, you know it's a hit when the Neptunes and the doggy dog finna spit. You know he's in tune with the season. Come in, baby, tell me why you leaving. Hi guys, today I'm going to be telling you what uh, ratings I thought EA got wrong in the FIFA 14 reveal. Uh, now the ratings were unconfirmed, but I'm still going to do this video today and um, hopefully you enjoy. So, first we're going to have one matter. Now, uh, in the FIFA 14 reveal, they gave him 86 rating, which is the same as FIFA 13. Uh, now I don't really think he deserves that, I think he deserves a much higher rating, 87 at minimum, uh, I put him to an 88 because I think he deserves it, he's had a really good season, and um, the main stat I increased was his passing, due to him having lots of assists this season, so I put him up from 80 to 86 passing, and I do think he's a fast player, so I gave him 85 pace, and 89 dribbling I think is right for him. Uh, so next we can have Balotelli, now they for some reason gave him a downgrade when I think he had a ratio of around one goal to one game uh, per game this season for Milan. He only played half a season, obviously, but uh, they gave him a downgrade, and I think they might get given him three star skills, which is a bit weird because I think he deserves four star skills and uh, an upgrade because I think he played really well. So hopefully they give him that upgrade or at least keep his card at 84 rated. And um, I think I gave his pacer an upgrade by quite a bit. And uh, next we're gonna have Buffon now. Uh, they gave, him, they gave him a downgrade for some reason, even though he was in the team of the season and he had a really good season, so I was unsure about that one. And uh, I did model his stats around a bit from FIFA 13. Uh, I gave him 90 diving and 86 reflexes, 89 positioning and 84 handling. And I downgraded his speed a bit purely because he's getting older and EA like to downgrade speed when people, players are getting older, which is fair because they do get slightly slower. Next we're going to have Pirlo. Now, um... He gave, they gave him an 86 rating as well, uh, which is a bit weird because, again, I, I thought he just had a pretty good season. Which um, I thought he was going to be in the team of the season, but th he wasn't. So, uh, but I think he deserves that 87 rating still. He doesn't deserve 86. And um, I did my list stats around a bit. I put his pace up to 63 from 61 because I think he deserves that. And uh, he's not 61 pace. I think he's a bit faster. But uh, I muddled the stats around a bit. Uh, next we're going to have Lampard, now for some reason they gave him a downgrade to 81 in the FIFA 14 reveal, which is a bit weird because he's had, in my opinion he's had a really good season, and it, there was a possibility he could have been in the team of the season, but obviously it wasn't, but um, I think he deserves to keep maintain his uh, 83 rating, and I did change his stats a bit, I put his pace up a bit to 62 from 60 because I think he deserves that, and um, I just changed his stats around a bit, made him slightly more defensive and his heading slightly better I think. Uh, next we can have Hazard, who uh, for some reason they put down to an 85, when again he was in the team of the season and he had a really good season, and um, I kept him at 87, I think he deserves that, I, don't, I think if Bale's 88 he should have an 87, but um, I put his pace up to 91, I think he deserves that, um, that amount of pace, and his shooting up a bit, I think he put his passing, uh, kept his passing the same actually, but I put his heading down, because I don't really think he uses his head that much in the game, but... Uh, thanks for watching guys, please rate, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time.